The question, when I study alone should I take notes does science proved anything about this? The scientific part about education and human psychology isn't precise, exactly because there is only so much of observation that could be utilized for the sake of science and not for the sake of students' welfare. It is also, a very personal growth that a human accomplishes. The generalizations that do exist are as follows. When you study there is a process of input, then there is a process of processing the information, then a process of memorizing and recalling. Input can be reading visual, listing audio, or acting out kinesthetic. Processing information could be talking about it, sitting and thinking through points, visualizing drawing pictures based on the concept, restructuring it in different ways, recalling based on question, or some other solicitation. Trying things differently could lead to self-awareness of what works for you. You can also judge by results but they are subjective. P. S. Students' development. Students' development depends at least on three major factors, students' culture, social interaction, language. These factors could be broken down in many different blocks that create an individual. It is important to consider for an educator all these aspects in order to create meaningful plan to study. For more answers, or more advice on effective studying, check out the links in the description below.